Alright guys, I want to make a new video on how to broadcast on Twitch TV or Hitbox with open broadcast software. I'm currently actually recording the video in OBS and I'll go over that setting in a minute. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to their website and download the latest version and you want to extract it on your desktop and in order to broadcast the first thing you want to do is run it as administrator guys. So you want to go ahead and w when the program's um, running, run as administrator. So you need OBS and you need Twitch TV. So once you have all that stuff, you then want to uh, you have your Twitch TV. You want to have an account on Twitch TV, and in order to do that, you want to go to your dashboard. Your dashboard is going to have all your information. We'll get it to that in a second. So with the Open Broadcaster, this is the program. I already ran it as administrator. I currently have it open. You have your file settings, your settings, your profile, all that good stuff. So right now, I already have a scene created. It's uh, called Monitor Two. I just basically named a scene. You can call it Game you know whatever you want I actually disabled the uh, preview because it's gonna loop in my YouTube video and this right here is just deploying my monitor it's set for a monitor capture and it's just capturing my monitor right here for games you just uh, you right click on add scene and you name it whatever you want and then you click on uh, sorry monitor 2 monitor 2 sorry I'm just clicking so you go ahead and click on add either uh, monitor capture capture a window or video capture device or game capture device with game capture device you can capture any any game you want for instance that you're playing you're gonna wanna run your game again as an administrator so whatever game you're playing you can do run admin one thing I really like that I think it's really easy for people is go to your game and then change the security to um, run run uh, admin there's a command for it run program as administrator sorry run program as administrator so all your games will be run as administrator your OBS will be run as administrator so I'll save you guys some time if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 click on run this program as administrator because you need to have admin rights uh, for the games and what not to capture correctly so you can add a game and capture the game this is your microphone settings this is your volume settings uh, the problem I have with mine is my microphone is really loud so I'm constantly turning down my mic so you can't hear my breathing and whatnot but you're basically going to go to your settings. You have what language you want to select. Encoding is uh, actually probably one of the hardest things to get. It really is dependent on your internet speeds and your computer and your RAM and whatnot. For instance, 3000 bit rate is actually really good. Quality bit rates would be 2000 would be if you have 1 megabyte or 2 megabyte or less. You know, that would be okay looking quality. This would be decent quality and this would be best quality. So you want to go ahead and a uh, 3000 bit rate is going to look great. It's going to be a, a nice clean 720p. You need to at least have 5 megabyte internet upload. And this is going to lag your games. I just want to let you guys know that. Running, recording, and streaming is going to lag your game. Twitch TV has a delay. It's 20 or 30 seconds delay from your chat. Hitbox is about 10 or 15. And YouTube is about the same. So you're going to go ahead and set your, your bit rate here. You want to go ahead and start at 2000 and see how your stream performs and then move it to 2500 see if it works well and then move it to 3000 I really feel for a good looking stream all you really need is 3000 you want to enable your CBR and just using the encoding built in and then a broadcaster settings I'm not gonna apply I'm actually uh, making a, a, a file here but if you change it over to live stream you have the different versions here you have twitch uh, Instagram game daily motion YouTube all this good stuff twitch is really simple you set it to twitch and you put your steam path key here you select uh, the location that's closest to you where you live. I live in Oakland, California, so I think they have a San Francisco server. If I, they should, because they have an office in San Francisco. You set your uh, time out here. You can set your file path, and then this is your your key here on your dashboard. And when you log into your Twitch TV account, your dashboard will be here, Steam key, and then you go ahead and hit Show Key. So this is going to be the key. The thing is very important. You want to copy and paste this whole entire thing. You don't want to. Um, over copy and get this little um, like space here this actually won't work see I have, I'm grabbing that space you can reset the key to you only have to do it one time but see how I grabbing this little space here that's actually not good you want to go ahead and make sure you only grab it to the end of the letter and up to live so if I were to stream on uh, twitch TV I'd want to go ahead and copy that and then input this as my steam key so that's your steam key copy and paste never show this on uh, uh, steam I'm obviously gonna reset this for the video so even if you have mine it doesn't matter to me but you never want to show this you want to set it once and then go live and never show your key so I'm gonna keep on you know resetting my key etc I'm actually gonna do it uh, one more time so people you can just you only have to do it one time you don't have to change it 
So that's your that's how all you have to do to get set up for Twitch. And the same thing with Hitbox is the same way. Hitbox, the Steam key is on the dashboard as well. Whatever program you're using, they just need a Steam key, and it's always going to be in the dashboard. But right now, I'm just actually making a file output, but it's different than from live streaming. So make sure you select live stream, you select the client you're using, and you have the correct uh, Steam key. That's all you really have to do. It's really not too difficult. A lot of people always ask me how to do it. And for video, I'm not going to apply any changes. Um, you want to set, make sure your video card has the latest and greatest drivers. You want to be up to date with your video drivers. This is my monitor. And it's set. I set my downscale to 720p. I think a 720p stream is fine. You really don't want to go 1080p unless you have a, either a capture card or a really high-end video card or a really high-end computer. It's really not needed. Some people don't have the internet to watch 1080p streams. So this would be a 1080p stream, guys. This would be a 720 stream. This would be a 480. So you downscale. So I only stream at 720p. And again, uh, if you have a, a slower computer. You can always capture at 30 frames. You don't have to capture at 60. I just have a high-end computer, so I change my frames and captures. And you want to disable your arrow as well when you stream. Stream. And then for audio, this is where you can change your your desktop audio. You can set it to an internal card. I'm using a headset, so it will capture what's going on with the headset. It will also capture if you're in a TeamSpeak or a Skype. So just be be known by this. It will capture stuff. You can always boost your microphone by one or two points. You can set up hotkeys to push to talk. You know, mute your mic if someone's calling you, stop stream, all this good stuff. You can do that if you want. For advanced, um, for people with low end computers or average computers, I would just go above normal and very fast. That's really the best settings. I'd use the CFR. You really don't have to do anything too crazy. You really have to optimize this or make any changes. It will actually tell you in uh, general, it will say, oh, I want to, um, or encoding, I'm sorry. It will say, in it quick, you, would you want to do this? And just say, like, yes, and then it will make it happen for you. And then microphone nose gate, again, um, if you're having like a lot of breathing, for instance, I noticed some streamers have it like me who have broken, I have a broken nose so my breathing is really loud. So you can modify or, or lower or make your DBAs not so high so you can't really hear the breathing. You just hear the gameplay and just kind of play with this until you get something that works well. This tends to be an issue with people who use microphones as a headset. But if you have your own microphone, that won't be a problem. I mean, it's really simple. So once you have all that set up, you just right click on add scene and then for uh, monitor capture, I keep uh, going off, I apologize. For a monitor capture, I have this one set to monitor, and I already added it. See, I did add monitor capture, and I just named this screen one. And this will capture your monitor, this whole monitor on this side will capture this game. One thing people say is like, oh, monitor capture is not that good. Well, sometimes you need to either monitor capture or game capture, because if you do a game capture, you have to be running your game. For example, if I was gonna uh, play Heroes of the Storm, It'd be run, I'd want to run it as an admin and I want to make sure I capture the game. It won't launch the game until you have it started. So if you go to uh, game cap, uh, game capture, name it whatever you want. See it's only launching the battle net. You can uh, select the application. See the game has to be running. Again you want to run this game as administrator and then you always want to stream games in uh, uh, windowed mode guys. Very important windowed mode, windowed mode. Because if you're not playing in Windows mode, you're going to get a black screen. And everyone's like, oh, I got a black screen. It doesn't work. I can hit refresh now, and I can just stream just this game. See how it shows up? So if I hit OK here, only the game will show. So only Heroes will show now. You won't, I don't think you can see my uh, OBS anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And then very important in my game. This is for all games. All games and options, they should have a display mode here. Windowed, windowed full screen, or full screen. See, I'm going windowed mode, but I'm playing in full screen. So you either want to go windowed full screen, obviously, or windowed mode for any of the games you guys are playing. League of Legends, you know, Counter-Strike, whatever. You want to not necessarily play in full screen mode because it doesn't capture correctly in game capture. So since I'm just doing monitor, if the game capture doesn't work, try monitor. If the monitor capture doesn't work, try region. And if it still doesn't work, it's probably too old of a game. It won't capture or work correctly. And you can add your webcams. Very simple. Same thing, too. Your webcam would be under video capture device. You would just put like you would have your webcam plugged in. I already uh, I already have a webcam at it, and I actually don't have it plugged in right now. I'm letting my sister borrow it, but it will come up as a device, and you can set your resolution and then change your uh, screen resolution. And to actually do that is your best is to actually enable the preview. So I'll enable the view. See, it's gonna look bad because I'm actually on it right here, but you can like make boxes of texts and then stretch and change stuff. It's pretty simple. It's gonna look bad because I'm streaming on my one monitor. 
but you can go ahead and change your size you can add little boxes people move their webcams around just modifying the scenes they stack on top of each other so you wanna either move them up or move them down in order you want so you can also do that by right clicking and positioning it so let's say your your games here and your webcams not you wanna put your game first and your webcam so your webcam will be over your game it's a pretty simple to use so if you guys are having any issues with that one more thing that people uh, run into a lot is and people who have NVIDIA uh, graphics cards, people who say, oh, I'm getting a black screen or it's not working correctly. You want to go to your uh, manage 3D settings here and go to your program settings and then enable um, this, um, enable your game OBS to use this and you'll be good to go. So you'll see, uh, you'll add your open broadcaster to program selections and enable 3D settings and that will fix your getting black screen issues. So you just add it. Just go find the program, add OBS, and you'll be good to go. So that's my tutorial on 2015, how to stream with open broadcasts. If you have any questions, comments, concern, please leave me a comment in the list below. Thank you.